Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is SCR or Thyristor Ratings and Thyristor Protection Circuit. In this session, we will discuss what are the different repetitive and non-repetitive ratings of SCR and what are the different protection circuits used for SCR. So first let us talk about Thyristor or SCR ratings. Mainly there are three types of ratings. First is continuous rating. As the name indicates, if you are using SCR periodically or continuously, then such type of ratings are used. So what I have written, these ratings are related to continuous working of the device, that is continuous working of SCR. And these ratings, I mean voltage and current, are usually expressed in terms of RMS value or average value. RMS is root mean square value. Second is repetitive rating. As the name indicates, if the device is periodically used, repetitively used, then such ratings are used. So I have written these ratings are used when device is periodically switched on. Third is surge or non-repetitive ratings. Surge means any excess value. These are non-repetitive ratings. So these are related to maximum permissible current or voltage peak. Peak means maximum value. So it represents maximum permissible or maximum allowed voltage or current uh, value that the device can withstand during a surge. Whenever surge occurs, then what is maximum amount of voltage or maximum amount of current that SCR can withstand, can handle. Such ratings are expressed in terms of surge or non-repetitive ratings. Now we are going to study these uh, uh, different notations which we have used in this diagram in detail. So before that, we will discuss what are the different terms we are going to use. If notation D is there, it indicates forward blocking region. If notation T is there, it indicates on state. F represents forward region. R represents reverse region. Now look at these notations. First notation is V, D, R, M. Second is V, D, R, W. Then this is V, R, W, M and so on. Just like I have told you, we are going to learn in detail. Presently we are talking about the different suffixes used in these notations. So if I'm talking about second suffix, second letter, जैसे यहाँ पे R है, यहाँ पे W है, so if it is W, second suffix is W, जैसे यहाँ पे W है, V R W M. So if it is W, it indicates working value. If it is R, it indicates repetitive value. For example, यहाँ पे R है, so it indicates repetitive value. If it is S, it indicates surge value यहाँ पे देखो second notation है ऐसे so it is surge value and that is non repetitive value the third notation in the suffix is m almost everywhere it is m so m represents maximum value or peak value now let us define all the terms related to this diagram अब देखो exam point of view से इसका definition लिखना बहुत simple है just you need to remember these notations which I have, I have already explained what are these diagrams this graph is basically graph of x-axis पे हम लोगों ने VA मार्क किया है। It is graph of anode voltage VA versus anode current IA. This type of graph we already discussed. I have marked different notations that that's what we are going to discuss. Another graph is actually or ideally it is a sine wave. ये जो peaks दिखा है, this as well as this peak in reverse mode, this is peak in forward mode. These are surge values. Now, how to remember different notations or how to write the definitions? Just say, ये जो value है, that is denoted by V, D, R, D, M. M stands for maximum value, R stands for repetitive value and D stands for forward blocking region. So, what I have written, V, D, R, M is peak. Why peak? Peak means maximum. M notation is there. So, peak repetitive. Why? repetitive because second uh, suffix is R. So peak repetitive forward blocking voltage. Notation D indicates forward blocking region. So VDRM represents peak or maximum repetitive forward blocking voltage that the SCR can withstand or that the SCR can handle. So this is the value VDRM related to this first surge, uh, first peak value, not surge. Then second is VRRM. It is peak repetitive reverse voltage. Look at the notations. M is there, so it is maximum value or peak value. RR, first R, 
represents it is reverse second r represents it is repetitive value so it is peak or maximum repetitive reverse voltage so vrrm it is at the negative side so it is in the reverse uh, range or uh, reverse region so it is the maximum value which is repetitive and reverse value of voltage that the scr can withstand next is vrwm this rating vrw rwm again m represents maximum value w stands for working value and this r uh, this first r represents reverse so it is peak working reverse voltage very simple v is there so it is voltage so it is peak reverse peak working reverse voltage that the scr can handle next vdsm this notation vdsm so this notation i am talking about this and this is same vdsm v stands for voltage d stands for forward blocking region so this is peak surge why surge because second suffix is s so it is peak surge surge means non repetitive so it is peak non repetitive forward blocking voltage that is vdsm do remember this value should be less than value of vbo in this diagram we have two different notations that is vbo that is forward break over voltage and vbr that is reverse break over voltage so this value vdsm that is peak surge or non repetitive value uh, non repetitive forward blocking voltage should be less than vbo that is uh forward break or it should be less than forward break or voltage next is vrsm first letter r stands for it is reverse v stands for voltage m stands for maximum second suffix s stands for surge so it is peak surge reverse voltage this value should be less than vbr that is uh this voltage vbr which is uh, a reverse break over uh, voltage so vrsm should be less than vbr so this is about the ratings of thyristor next part is thyristor protection or scr protection techniques usually manufacturer provides certain specifications we need to operate the scr within the specified limits let us say within the specified voltage or uh, given voltages or within the specified value of given current and so on if because of any reason the uh, specified values gets exceed then it may damage that particular scr that particular device permanently so to avoid this certain protection techniques are used two main types of protections are there one is over current protection as the name indicates it may be the case that the current flowing through the scr gets exceed than the specified value so in that case we need to provide certain type of protection see in case of normal electrical circuit we use the fuse so whenever the value of current gets exceed than the uh, uh, specified value then blowing of fuse takes place and circuit gets disconnected on the same lines we are use we can use hrc fuse that is high rupture capacity fuse then semiconductor fuse or rewirable fuse then for some sensitive systems we can use crowbar protection techniques so by making use of high rupturing capacity fuse or semiconductor fuse or any type of rewirable fuse rewirable fuse means that blowing of that particular wire takes place you need to uh, uh, then circuit will be disconnected and you need to connect another wire in that fuse second type of uh, protection is for over voltage i mean for over voltage condition it is over voltage protection as the name indicates there can be excess of voltage because of some reasons for example whenever you switch on the transformer available in the circuit then voltage spikes are generated so these voltage spikes exceed than the specified values these voltage spikes are available or uh, these are applicable only for limited time period let us say for uh, some milliseconds but during that time period also it can damage the device so it is very much essential to provide over voltage protection so what i have written voltage transients transients means such certain spikes of voltages voltage transients are generated due to different types of uh, switching actions for example insulation breakdown there can be breakdown of insulation or blowing of fuses 
or free wheeling diode if you are using any free wheeling diode in the circuit or switching on of the transformer etc because of all such things the voltage spikes can be generated the best technique to avoid such uh, spikes to uh, i mean to uh, block such spikes to enter into the device is make use of lpf that is low pass filter or make use of generator or snubber circuit so if you make use of all these uh, techniques then you will get a protection from the over voltage so these are the basic techniques which are used for the protection of scr or uh, thyristor so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video